everybody thank you for watching aim for survival today we're going to show you a real quick trick to help you when situations get rough stay tuned Okay, everybody so in Tennessee we just had what was dubbed the February flood guys for many days many days it rained the ground become oversaturated and before you know it the rivers flooded their banks cornfields turned into lakes houses literally floated away and again I definitely want to send out all our respects to all those affected by the February floods but then again right after you have all the tornadoes down in Georgia and Alabama guys natural disasters happen and sometimes you got to move and stay mobile I am in my truck and I am on a typical route. This is the way to the horse farm behind me. And the problem is we've got an unknown depth of water. It was a lot deeper yesterday. It was all the way probably four feet higher yesterday and the water has receded a little. However, I do not know what's under this water and instead of drive through it, it'd be a smarter bet just to go ahead and walk around. Of course, if this was a roadway on your way home, you'd just want to turn around, find another route. And if there isn't another route, of course, we'd go to our pack and we'd go ahead, leave the vehicle. Not a very good idea, but if you know where you're going, leave the vehicle, travel on foot, get there, come back when it's safer. Now, I want to talk about a few things that are very important and something this brings up. Anytime a natural disaster occurs, it's a chance to learn, a chance to gain information. Guys, where the rivers flooded their banks, it covered roadways, sinkholes happened, debris was washed over the road, people's cars got stuck, it was a mess. Now, things like this are what you need to go ahead and add onto your map. Just go ahead and pull your map out, get a highlighter, possibly different color highlighters, or you could just make notes, figure out using social media and public news networks which roads were impassable, and go ahead and make a note. Go ahead and rearrange your bug out strategy to this. If the roads between your house and the school your kids go to is potentially impassable, you may need an alternate route or an alternate meetup place. Go ahead and have an emergency plan amongst your family and your team. Of course, here again would be a great example of another situation, and that's aiming off using a compass, guys. It may not be a big deal. This right here, you know, football field out, football field back, that's not a big deal. However, if you're talking about a river, you really may have to use that compass. And even general navigation with a roadmap compass is pretty simple. A mobile compass will get you there. But you want to study some of your compass and learn how to take a bearing, apply it to a grid bearing, how to figure out the three norths. Guys, there's a lot of information in navigation, but the biggest thing is the map, especially with roadways as convenient as they are in most of America. Another concept I want to talk about is, again, turn around, don't drown. They say that for a reason, guys. This may only be a foot deep, but I do not know what is washed over this road. It could be all kinds of fallen debris, stuff that floats in the water. You never know. You pop that tire right in the worst bit of this, and now you're going to have to get your feet wet regardless. Again, try to be safe. I appreciate you watching A for Survival, guys. We will be announcing some sad news in one of our next videos, but we also have good news to go along with it and more gear. I appreciate everybody who's been watching A for Survival. I apologize for our absence lately, but if you haven't already, smash your like button, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and as always, when you aim for survival, don't miss.